Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Football Manager and welcome to the Burnley game. Uh, doing this right off the back of the previous game, so my voice may be a little hoarse. Never mind, <laughs> I've been shouting. I'm used to it by now. Uh, the team here, uh, Carroll starts uh, with Hazard just behind him, decides to rest uh, Gerrard. And uh, Torres, once again, his condition is still slightly lacking, so although he did score last game, um, he is still a little bit off from starting. Uh, Lucas and Morelles, uh, in the middle, Kalu and Cole. Um, so I'll just give Cole a game, just to, uh, give Cole a slight rest, although he is on the, excuse me, on the bench. And majority, I think McAllister is with me now that Jamie Carragher should be dropped, even though he was named in the team of the week. Yeah, I'll show the team of the week. Um, I think I think this is the most I've ever I've ever had in the team of the week. Four Liverpool players: um, Carragher, Iger, Cout, and Gerrard, which seemed fair. Um, although these two, I completely disagree with. I usually would with Iger, but. Um, no, he wasn't that great that week. Uh, which players look, and let's go. So, um, as you can see, they're all fairly healthy still conditions. Uh, Gerard and Torres are on the bench. Um, so, you know, we're, we're looking okay for this. But, you know, Burnley will give us a good game. I'm sure they will. And that's just sneaked, snuck past the post. My God. <laughs> and again, we should not be attacking. I think it's set to default attacking. I need to change that. Er, no, 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 no. Uh, two instructions. Good control. Should always, I think I'd always recommend control over stand, standard. Come on, game. Stop doing this, please. I'm actually going to change the formation uh, to 4 4 2. Back to 4 2 2 2. What is that? Just fucking 4 2 2. 4 4 2. Christ. What the hell is that about? Uh, we'll play Hazard there. That's better. Uh, need to switch the team around because that was my bad. Um, I had um, it, it said actually play well against four five one Burnley, and my, my formation there was a uh, oh Christ, uh, that was a base of sort of like a I don't know what it's, it's kind of like a four five one. Um, so what did I say? I, I think I said, yeah they play well against four five one. I think I said, and um, and then so I thought okay four four two. It's basically the four five one or four four two with this team. They they're your main ones if you are playing a Liverpool team. <laughs> Christ, um, that was close. Um, I'd always recommend either a four-five-one or a variation of that. You know, so like a four-three-one-one or or a is that you, you know what you know, that that formation, whatever the, the hell that adds up to, <laughs> um, or either a four-five-one or a variation of or four-four-two. And there's Kalu. He's got some space to work with. Oh, he's oh oh it has it, but I think that may go down as no goal. No, that's Hazard's goal. His first goal for Liverpool, Eden Hazard. I knew that would that change would work. And there he is. The team's finding maybe. Hopefully this is the sign now. The team is finding a little bit of form. But Hazard has his first goal. He scored in the preseason uh, friendlies, but they don't really count, of course. But this is his first crop of goal. A bit lucky. Let's have a look. Kalu once again. Making good work. Carroll, <laughs> like slightly lucky. Actually, very lucky. But Hazard strike. Yep, that was going in. Hazard smashes it. Grant can only get a hand to it. And um, he has his first goal and he's off away. Fantastic. Yep, I just broke that. And, uh, comes again, Carol. I don't know if that would go down as an assist for Carol or Kalu. Never mind, who cares? <laughs> I'm happy for them either to have an assist because, uh, Kalu's getting good assists as well. And the goals. So I'm very happy with Salomon Kalu. Since his sending off, he's gone from strength to strength. And hopefully this might be a good thing for Hazard as well. Maybe get him going. Oh, and Lucas. Bit of room and Lee Grant does well. Here we go. Now, this is what I mean. Change the formation. And once again, they don't play, uh, well... It said they play well against the 4-5-1 or the variation of a 4-5-1. And since I've changed it up to a 4-4-2, look what's happened. You know what I mean? It, that's why I pay attention to the... Oh, Cole should have done better. Um, that's why I pay attention to that pre-match meeting. Always pay attention. Now, Gary McAllister tends to majority of the time. Obviously, there's different assistants say different things. But Gary McAllister uh, said to me on this, um, but he's t he tends to say... T the tells t it tends to tell you what field formations teams play well against. So basically that just tends to make, okay, I'll just play either the, the other one, I'll just play the other formation. And Kalu nearly got in there. Oh, he's given a penalty! Trip for Salmon Kalu, but here's Kalu's going to be, a he's going to take the penalty. Uh, no Gerrard, no Charlie Adam, no Kaut. So it's going to be Kalu to take the penalty. And that's 2-0. Good penalty from Kalu. Won the penalty and he puts it away. He's in some great form ever since that sending off. Uh, again, I think it was Roma. Um, he's been fantastic, and he's really earned this place back, and he's really earned the respect of me again. 
And all you doubters who say Kalu Wall isn't a great signing, well, that's a load of bollocks. <laughs> he was the signing of the season last year, and I think he certainly proved that. Now, Salomon Kalu's doing very, very well for me at the moment. Um, don't don't drop. Um, say so delighted as well as Hazard. So, yeah, we're getting some good games. Burnley, by the way, are 18th in the Premier League, uh, as it currently stands, actually. Can we get the... Um, uh, the... whatchamacallit? Oh no, I can't do that, can I? Okay, never mind. But as you can see, we're d totally dominant. I know, obviously, the t I know this isn't the greatest example in the world, but... It was Elm, of course, who scored the goal. And he's fucking free. And Johnson, he's gonna be sent off. Once again, Glenn Johnson's gonna be sent off. Wouldn't you know it? Again, we had a... we were cruising. Easy. And a defensive error, once again. Oh, dear. Um, uh, not that much difference, I guess. Um... Move them round. And Carol, this is th this is what I do. This is what I'd always recommend doing. Um, this is absolute recommendation. It's a bit easier for me since uh, Andy Carroll's there. He can. It says he can't, but he can play there. Um, just create a big spine. If you ever get a man sent off, this is tactics for you here. Uh, if you ever get a man sent off, just go three one three one one. Um, it's like as if most of the time I just find it's like as if he wasn't even sent off. Um, your def person in this defensive hole here basically acts as the fourth defender, and obviously, and then, but you know, he's sort of in because obviously he's in between both. He can still act as that fourth midfielder as well. So you know, when you're going forward, so you're not really losing too much. Um, but Glenn Johnson, yet again, I'm gonna have to have a talk with him. I'm gonna have to say something because he's he's really, 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 really. Not if if this leaves again gives away us if if this gives away our clean sheet I'm not going to be very disappointed. My God, Easton, what on earth is he doing? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing with the ball there, but he seems to. It was just weird. Um, but yeah, Glenn Johnson, last man sending off. But you know we're still we're still going for it and they're still uh, attacking, which is good to see. Wilson, don't know what on earth he did there. The ball bounced off him. Oh, and Hazard. Oh, that was a great chance. He got in front of his man. Great movement from Hazard. But unfortunately, couldn't stick it in the net. But still 2-0. And as long as they can't as long as they don't have that first goal, there's nothing they can do. In terms of results anyway. So as it currently stands, uh we're still winning. <laughs> for how for much longer, I don't know. Oh, but it's good defending good defending now. But Kalu is the only strike we currently have, and I think Burnley are gonna come on to us now. I think we might go back to counter actually because uh, Oh my word! That is a shocker of a miss. He went round the keeper and he hit the post. Oh my god, the defence are just, oh, they're on the eight, sevens and eights at the moment. It's sixes and sevens. Seven and eights? What the fuck? Um, sixes and sevens, what the hell was that? Oh god, I'm screwed up falling over my own words, my god. I don't know, Cockney Ryman's saying, is that even Cockney Ryman saying? I don't know. Jay Bothroyd, though, once again, and Rayner off his line, and once again, we don't have a clean sheet. Um... Rayner came off his line, should have stayed on his line. To be honest, I think he'd made the right decision there, actually. He probably could have challenged them, uh, but... Um, it was a Carroll who lost out. Yep, Andy Carroll. Um, might bring Torres on. Defence not tight enough to him, so, although we do have only three of them. Um, yet again, exceptionally annoying and disappointing. And the game's frozen. Let me just see if we can make a change. Uh, take Carroll off for um, Fernando Torres. Swap them around. Because uh, I think we can still attack. We are going up against someone who's just come up from the Premier uh, from the Championship, of course. So, you know, I think we should still have an absolute right to attack. Uh, you know, we're top of the league. We're going up against someone in the relegation zone. We should, of course, go ahead and attack. It's not as if we need to totally shut up shop. You know, when you have players like Fernando Torres to come on, um, that certainly should be the case. But his... Oh, I don't like this bit. Oh, my word. Reina makes a good save. Flying across the goal there. If we can get that... Oh. Although, although I'm not too bothered by this now, we've got Torres who can chase these balls. I will chase them. Um, they don't annoy me as much now, but he's still like it. Oh, Torres, he's picked it up. Oh, it's poor touch. I don't know what can Hazard do with Torres. Oh, I thought I thought it might be able to better cross there, but unfortunately not. Oh, and Morales, that was a decent enough ball, too close to the keeper though. Mills hasn't done too badly. He's, he was lacking a bit at the start, but now he's he's getting a bit better. 
play him, he's playing some good balls. One thing he does do though, which is just annoying, is uh, he always has too many shots. Rainer, and they've hit the post again, again. Rainer, um, don't ask me what on earth the hell he was doing. Uh, we'll take Kalu off. He's done very well. Put Gerard on. Because again, we still have an, um, a right to attack. We've had more shots. Kalu seems a little tired, but they have a chance here. We'll see if they do score, and they've hit the post again. You thought we were lucky in the other game. Um, I think it was against. I think it was, I think it was Hull. You ain't seen shit. This is lucky. Oh my god, ten men though. Hanging on with ten men. Oh, and look at how much time there is. <coughs> Excuse me, Torres. Can you get to this? It's a free kick. Torres tripped. Oh, and Easton's going to be sent off. We're going to finish with ten men each. Oh my, well, it couldn't have happened at a fucking better time, could it? Oh, 94 minutes. The game's about to end. Oh, fantastic for us. And that's the game. <laughs> that was so worth it. Burnley hit the post. I think it was three times. It could have been more. Um, Again, good result. Not good enough. Not good enough. Um, Not going to say anything. Uh, delighted with Kalu. Um, and Hazard. I'm going to say delighted as well. Uh, Skettle did okay. So I'll say that Skettle, I think that Skettle did okay. And Morales did okay. Yeah, okay. Um, so there's your game. But we now, although Arsenal have their game in hand, um, we're now, f uh, for now anyway, four points clear. And as you can see, United are slowly rising up the table. Chelsea, though, are slipping back. Sunderland are just... Have they got some mad player that I don't know about? They've got fucking tight. How the hell were the team as tight as Bramble? I mean, obviously, admittedly, they've got Jan and Bent. How on earth is a team with Titus Bramble third, fourth in the Premier League? I don't understand that one. And then they've got Ty Morley, who's a good player. We'll see United uh, beating Everton and City beating. Uh, I'm going to issue him a warning again. I'm really. Uh, Ram uh, why are you giving me Ramsey? Seriously, Hazard finally get <laughs> Lucas Digne unhappy, been injured. Oh, um, this is yeah. I think Digne given yeah accepts his warning. You fucking better. Uh, Digne is homesick. Admittedly, he is only eighteen. Um, that's fine. I'm very happy for him to do that. He's been injured. Hopefully, this might give him a chance to sort of sort this injury out thing as well. That was it. But you know, hopefully, it might uh, help him sort his injury things out. So, uh, we play Stoke in ten days. Uh, so, uh, when's actually what's the date today? That's what, what I can't see because the fraps frame rate things in the way. Uh, it's a Wednesday. Um, why the hell are we playing on a Tuesday? That's a bit random. Um, Anyway, uh, yes, yeah, Stoke, so that'll be next week. And we seemingly haven't got a weekend game. Okay, i tell you what, we'll see how Arsenal get on against West Brom. They're probably going to win. Um, we'll see just these results, just to see how Arsenal get on. We'll see how that affects the league. Uh, and we'll see the league as a current statue. It's amazing, actually, how I'm so annoyed and angry with the team, yet we're top of the league. I think that just shows you Sunderland winning again, my God. Um, you know, my such high expectations I have. I mean, I, the, the thing is, I've always had this stupidly high expectations of any team to either win or don't bother playing I've always had that I think I've talked about before the attitude that I maintain is win and win convincingly or just don't bother turning up it's stupid I know but it's one I've never been able to shake um, it's taking its sweet old time it's not usually it's slow although it's, oh, it's playing the um, Spanish and Italian games as well I think Atletico won there I think uh, come on let me see. I don't know why the hell it's playing them. It doesn't need to. And Arsenal beat West Brom 1-0. So they're still second. Um, so we're all on 12. Everton are on 9. Weirdly. 1-3, well, lost 3 and drawn 3. Um, don't quite understand that. It's 14. I mean, a goal's difference isn't bad. It's great, but it's not bad if somebody's top. Points ahead of Arsenal, though. Um, I want to see where they drop their points as well. Uh, we quickly... Um, Draw against Hull, I guess. Draws against Hull and West Brom. It's already happening to them. It's already happening. They're slowly slipping away, Arsenal. <laughs> now I'm getting 
Excuse me. Anyway, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. A good game once again. Uh, I'll join, hopefully you'll join me for the Stoke game. So, goodbye for now.